Hi guys, myself from Kenya. This video will show us another problem on Lidco. Design hash set. So design hash set without using any inbuilt hash table libraries. So you have to implement the hash set class and it contains three methods. Add key, contains key and remove key. So add key inserts a value key into the hash set and remove key uh, removes the value key in the hash set. If key doesn't exist, then it doesn't do anything. And uh, contains key written whether the key is present in has it or not. It's a boolean value, so it will return true or false. And we have to do this without using any input hash table libraries. We know the hash table libraries like uh, remove, remove, contains, and add. So if we add, need to add any key, then if we have a hash set named sets then uh, sets dot add of key we could do if we need to remove sets dot remove of key and for containing whether to check sets dot contains of key this will return boolean so these are the inbuilt uh, libraries which you have in the asset but we should not use them and without using them we have to implement this functionality so let's look into the example my asset initially it is empty so you give add so add uh, one into the hash set add some with key then you again add two then contains of one so here you can see we are already we have added one so it return two then contains of three we have added only one and two so it doesn't contain three hence you return false then again you add two already present so need not to do anything then after that um, contains of 2 so in this case 2 is already present hence you return 2 again you remove 2 so that will be null and then you make contains of 2 since you have removed 2 it is false now so they have explained it here properly so how can you implement this is uh, this is a normal functionality which are present in the has set but we are not using this now so what we will do is we will have a data structure for uh, implementing this has set let's use um, array and let the array name be buckets and the size of the array be this 0 to 10 power 6 is the maximum key present, right? So, size of the array will be 10 power 6 plus 1. So, we, if we represent it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 plus 1, so that will be written 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1. So, this will be the size of the array. So, with this array containing all the buckets, uh, buckets are containing uh, all this size. Let each position be boolean. So the data type of the array be boolean. So if you have from 1 to all 10 power 6, 0 to 10 power 6 position, each position be initialized with false now initially. That is boolean value. So what we do is if you need to add a particular key, we will just make buckets of particular key particular position equal to 2. Right? If you need to remove that, then again buckets of key equal to false will make. So if you make buckets of key equal to 2, that means uh, at that position, if, if it is 1, then this position will make it as 2. So it means that this particular key is present in the hash set if it is 2. If it is false, if you do bucket uh, remove of one then what it will happen this will be initialized to false that means this particular key is not present it has it we have removed it then what what happens for contains again buckets of key In that we just return the buckets of key so either it may contain true if it is present in has it or false so if we have add, perform this add operation, then it will, it will return true. 
if you perform with an uh, remove operation or you know, if you don't perform any operation like add or so that then it will be false so if you take this example only initially we have from 0 to 10 power 6 we add 1 right so this 0 1 this will be true all other now all the position will be false initially this will be true then you add again 2 so 2 position also will be true then you check whether contains of 1 so you check buckets of 1 what is present here true is present here so it will return true you return that then again you check for contains of 3 so 3 we didn't initialize it with anything so it is false initially so return false return buckets of 3 will be false then again you add 2 since I, 2 is already present you make it to buckets of 2 equal to true but it's already true so it doesn't affect anything then again you contains of 2 yeah it is present so return true here so that is what simply we do now and yeah, we can start the coding with this. So they have given the class with the constructor. So here we will outside the constructor. Here we will declare the array and initialize it inside the constructor. So initially we will have array size. So it will be private int array size equal to one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and last one. 1 because 0 to 10 power 6. That's it. Extra 1. Now you declare the array. So private boolean. Array type is boolean. Let's name it as buckets. And then we will initialize the array inside the constructor. So buckets equal to new boolean of RSI. Now here buckets of e equal to true for adding. Similarly for removing buckets of key equal to false. For containing we just return the buckets of key. Yes, successfully submitted. So we just are uh, using the arrays as underlying data structure for the hash set. You have solved the problem. If you have any doubts, please drop in the comment section. We'll come up with another in the next session. And please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thank you.